every time I complete a challenge, I'm opening a pack to upgrade my 68 overall team. Oh, every single team is going to be a 99 overall, isn't it? Yep, this is pretty much how every matchup went. We need to get started on these challenges so we can open up some packs. Oh, this challenge is going to be so difficult. Since this first game's likely to be an L, I'm just going to try to accumulate as many yards as possible. Maybe get a sack an interception, a fumble. Go, Johnson! Run! Run, Johnson! We just need to get to our first pack, and we have to get through this first game to do that. Oh, we fumbled again, man. But after losing that fumble, our defensive line goes big. Break off. Fumble! Pick it up! Let's go! <laughs> and the tide finally started to turn for us. Let's go! We threw a touchdown! We have just five games to do this with 21 total challenges spread across three tiers. These are cumulative totals, so we'll be keeping track along the way. The higher the tier of challenge we complete, the better the pack we open. So, of course, he bombs us deep again, but we battle back and end up scoring our second touchdown. Touchdown! Another touchdown! We got two in the first game! Our defensive line ends up going big again with another sack, and on the last play of the game, we came so close to our third touchdown. No! That was a huge game one. We had 281 passing yards. That's one goal complete. We also forced a fumble, and we had two sacks, which means we get three $2.50 pro fantasy packs. This we get a non-big legend, strong arm, Jim Kelly. I think this is Gridiron Guardians, free agent, 92. So long, Mason Rudolph. And hello, Jim Kelly. The Quisky Tart is also our new strong safety. We need every pack to be good in this entire challenge because even when I got to choose what players I was upgrading, it still was really tough to do this. Oh no, this was a really bad pack. We're gonna go with Jamal Agnew. 82, Darrell Rivas. I wish that was a bigger one. Campus Heroes. 89 on trail roll. We're up to a 74 overall team with a 76 overall defense. And we started off game two with a bang. A sack. Get him. Let's go. That's another pack, baby. I should be able to block the blitz here. Oh my God. Yes. Why is so open? Go, Pirine. I know you're slow, but let's go. Unfortunately, we end up throwing a pick, but we're actually able to make a red zone stop here and force a field goal. We still have a chance to win this game, and we fire back to our halfback, Samaje Pirine. Yes, Pirine, go. Go, Pirine! Let's go! Get on your freaking horse, spin! And then we go right back to him. Yes! And we're gonna tote into the end zone. We just unlocked another tier one pack with that touchdown. He ends up trying to just bomb us deep for no reason. And one of our new cornerback additions, Ronald Darby, comes up big. Please pick, pick. Yes, that's an interception. That's another pack. Can we get some points here? Woo, Ronald Darby with the spin. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you know what happens next. Come on, Jim Kelly. We got him. Oh my God, John Ross. At this point, it's become pretty apparent how much of a difference a few you simple players can make to your team. And so after getting another sack, our defense comes up big yet again. Fumble. Yes, another fumble. That's another fact. That's a tier two fact, baby. Right after Jim Kelly goes big here, we end up forcing the rage quit. And I'm not going to lie, watching my reaction back is kind of funny. Yeah. We finished that game with 257 passing yards, putting us over the 500 passing yard tier two threshold. We also finished all remaining tier one challenges, win by 10 plus, and force a rage quit challenges. We have so many packs to open, starting with our four pro fantasy packs. 84 tight end. We needed a new tight end. I'll take that. Give me a harvest player, and that looks like 86 left end Brian Burns. Not a bad first pack right here. Red Iron Guardians in the first round. It's going to be 86 Grady Jarrett. Gold Legend. What's this gonna be? 90 overall, Ted Hendricks. And in the second round, starting with a team of the week, 83 overall, a Super Bowl player. 88, Jared Goof. No, thank you. Not a bad third pack. An 86, Jalen Rager, and an 87, Luke Keekley. But when you get a good first round, I feel like you never end up getting quite the best second round, which is what it looks like is gonna happen to us here. That's kind of how it goes sometimes. Our tier two packs are the $10 all pro fantasy packs, where you have a 4% chance of pulling over a 96 overall. It's gonna be a full superstar MVPs. That's an 88 overall Desmond King. We'll take that cornerback and then a low legend 85 Ed Reed. And then a team of the week. This was not a good all pro fantasy pack. 89 James Conner. That is a running back upgrade. Not Daniel Jones. Micah Hyde. I needed a better save. And it won't be long before Micah Hyde starts making plays. And then a small ultimate legend. It looks like I saw an 89 overall middle linebacker Derek Johnson. And our third pack. Not too great. Ghost out of position. I don't even know what that animation. 94. And our tier three packs are the ultimate legend fantasy packs 
for twenty dollars you have a 16 percent chance of pulling a 97 up i mean we've got to right our next card is a 91 wide receiver which i really do very much need that's going to be an eric dickerson wide receiver sugar rush player it's a 92 free safety and then another ghost are out of position i can't remember what this is already forgot 95 to marcus Ware. a few helpful cards in this pack just these two but we still have a lot of tier three packs to unlock the only card that's staying here on our offense i believe is jim kelly pretty much everyone else is getting subbed out and on the defensive side of the ball i honestly think just jaquiski tart and ancho roller staying everybody else is probably going we're up to an 85 overall which is phenomenal after two games and on one of the first plays our defense goes big no how do we not pick it up that's our fifth sack baby and that's another fumble let's go and i told you micah hyde makes plays for us micah hyde that's a new player and after turning the ball over again our defense steps up one more time that's a user pick he threw right at jaquiski tart i've got legs jaquiski tart another interception the rest of this game was one of the sloppiest games of madden i've ever seen he would throw me a pick i would turn the ball over he would throw me a pick i would turn the ball over and this continued on but we were severely falling behind in our rushing yards so that's what i started to go for on offense maybe we should go back to a little stretch action yes james connor we can get some yards running the ball yes touchdown all right let's go back to a little stretch here see if i can get outside oh i can he's not gonna be able to get the tackle james connor go connor get the block dickerson james connor from the 45 yard line yeah. and a rage quit we ended up with 99 rushing yards which actually completes the tier two version of that objective but we threw for zero <laughs> yards which means our next two games we have almost 500 yards that we have to throw for at a total of seven touchdowns five interceptions we completed the rest of our tier two objectives and three of our tier three objectives in that game starting with our first all pro pack this is where we need to start pulling some high overall cards for it to really help our team since we are an 85 overall our team is pretty solid at this point and an 89 fullback that's an upgrade from this ultimate legend card a low legend to start off our third round an 86 warren sap that's an upgrade. A rising star player, 92 AJ Dillon. That's an upgrade. And a draft player, 89 right guard. We're actually going to end up going with Jack Driscoll. Oh, okay. This could be a high one. This is a from the zero chill. Alec Ogletree, 92 overall. And a flashback player. Watch it be Daniel Jones. I'm telling you. Oh, okay. CJ Mosley. Not a bad pack. A few upgrades here for us. Free safety. Taylor Rapp. It's going to be a combine player. That's an upgrade at tight end. Okay. We got two upgrades in the first round. In the second round, hoping for some big rings here. Some big players. We really need high overall players in order to help our team here. 88 Randy Moss. Not a bad back. Veteran Carlos Dunlap at the right end position and a backyard baller. 93 right outside linebacker Sean Taylor. Sugar Rush player here. Cornerback Rock Yassine and Charles Haley. Really nothing crazy on the offensive side of the ball. We decided to stick with Jim Kelly because he gets a passing ability and there were a few tweaks but nothing crazy. We almost have an entirely new defense overall. We still need 50 rushing yards, almost 500 passing yards and eight touchdowns to complete our our tier three objectives our next game was not a very exciting one my man threw three pick sixes one two and three we scored touchdowns on all of them and then he rage quit the game there was no offensive yards gained we still have a lot of offensive progress to make up in our game five after all the cover three bombs you've seen me throw it was probably time for me to get beat by one that's fine but we fire back with a laser on this post to eric dickerson now i'm absolutely trying to win this game but i also want to beat all the the remaining challenges we have which means we need this to be a shootout gotta be deep with eric dickerson run don't get caught don't get caught please don't get caught don't get caught don't get caught no he gets me to a fourth down and i make a big mistake here i needed that touchdown so bad dude now this is a great dot to our tight end here but i want you to remember this exact pass because later on it doesn't work quite the same and jim kelly hits a dart to james connor out of the backfield we score a touchdown and leave him 30 seconds left on the clock which is just enough time to make a mistake throw me a pick yes I can get another I can get another touchdown here. I can get another touchdown here. And then Jim Kelly throws an absolute laser beam. <laughs> After a little back and forth in the third quarter, we hit a wide open Randy Moss. You've got to be kidding me, dude. He's going to return a freaking kick on me. Are you serious right now? I need 45 more rushing yards and 102 passing yards and a touchdown. I tried rushing the ball, but this guy's run defense was so good. So we went back to the pass and hit a laser beam. What a freaking dot. And on the next play, we thread the needle to Eric Dickerson. Let's go. We're in. We got our touchdowns. I'm going to give him a touchdown here and we'll try to get the rest of our passes passing yards and rushing yards. It's all we need. He was running a cover four drop the whole time and I could not get through this brick wall defense trying to run the ball. Yes, got him. 
Got him. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Let's go. And do you remember that exact same pass I told you about earlier? No! A horrible time for an interception. He ends up scoring, but on our next drive, we throw a couple dimes. What a freaking dot. Go, Dickerson. Dot. Again, get out of bounds. Lead it to the sideline. Thank you. Touchdown. 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 540 passing yards from Jim Kelly, which puts us at a 1,078 total, completing that objective. We scored six touchdowns, completing that objective, leaving only one incomplete objective, 200 rushing yards. We ended at 155. We went four for five, completing 20 out of the 21 challenges. We have two ultimate legend packs still to open. 195, Ryan McKinney. The second card is going to be a 92, Billy Johnson. No big rings on the first card. We're going to end up with an 87, Michael Vick. No big rings on the second card. We end up on a 91, kicker Chad Johnson. And a backyard ballers player, 89, kicker Vince Wilford. But if you like this, I also did a video where every time I completed a challenge, I upgraded a player on my team. Go check it out.